This week on the Media Boss Podcast. Media changes people, and people change make the world better. So I don't have to get out there and touch everybody. I've got 30 channels that are touching people, and that's how I'm changing the world. the Media Boss Podcast. I'm Dr. Barrett Matthews. I am so glad to have you here. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the Media Boss Podcast? Well, let me explain something to you. A media boss is someone that controls their own media. Many of you out there have been controlled by the media and all your, you may not even think so, but trust me, the media has had a profound effect on pretty much everything we do in life. But many of us have decided to take control of our own media and become a media boss. So this podcast is going to show you all the ways that you can become a media boss because there are various ways to do it. There are various aspects of the media that you may want to know about, may want to learn about, and we're going to bring that to you all on the Media Boss Podcast. So I like to start the podcast by telling you all to please share and subscribe. Please share and subscribe. Let everybody know that you are becoming a media boss. Now, the first segment I like to bring you guys is something I call the Media Minute. The Media Minute is where I take a little bit of time, just a little bit of time, and talk to you about something that can help you that I've learned that I want to share with you about media. Now, I I read an article, and it's by a gentleman named Karan Rose, and he said that he's got six ways where you can create videos that will allow your content, your content, keep in mind, content is key, to reach maximum discoverability. One way is through YouTube. Now, you all have probably heard this. I'm preaching through the choir, I know. But everybody has heard, use YouTube. Get YouTube out there. Get your YouTube videos out there because, one, Google owns Google owns YouTube, and it can get you a lot more exposure. But one thing about that, you got to be consistent with it. You can't just put it out there. you got to let those algorithms work for you. So you got to put the videos out there and be consistent. Another is YouTube Shorts. Now, YouTube Shorts can compete with Reels and compete with TikTok, but you have to be active. And once again, you have to be consistent. Now, another thing that probably surprises people, this is surprising me a little bit, is your website. Now, the, the way YouTube is set up, you know, now you can YouTube can act kind of like your host and you can embed your videos into your website. So when people go to your website, they can see your, your videos there and it can bring up the SEO and make it make it so you're more visible, make it so that people can understand you and where you are. And of course, TikTok. Man, man, TikTok is everywhere. I'm not going to lie. I thought TikTok was for the kids at first. Now I see that TikTok is for anybody that wants to be seen and visible and they can grow. TikTok is fantastic, a way for you to get your yourself out there. Now, another one is Google, Google Web Stories. Now, this is one a lot of people are not taking advantage of. I'm, I'm going to be serious. People are not taking advantage of, of Google Web Stories. Now, with Google Web Stories, you've seen the stories on Instagram, stories on Facebook. Well, Google Web Stories can, have, can actually affect people for their business. You can actually grow your business more. You can put links out there. And, of course, your Google Business Profile. You can put videos on your business profile. So when people go to your profile, they're not just reading your name, email, and phone number. They're reading more about you and what you do. So you can see that there are six ways that you can improve your business. I thank you, Karan Rose, for that. And that is our media minute for today. So what we're going to do now is bring on a guest. And this is not just any guest. This is one of my best, best friends in business. I just love having her as being a part of the show. But let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Letitia Wright. Now, she is the host, owner, whatever you want to call it. She is everything to the right place TV channel on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. She is an expert in this field. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. She is an expert. You understand? You hear me? She is an expert. Now, she has over 154,000 followers on TikTok. Now, you heard me mention TikTok, right? She has over 154 
thousand followers on TikTok. She was also a, a semi-finalist, those of y'all don't know this, for the Kitty Fun Grant Award. And I'm gonna have her tell us more about that. that. But here's the thing, remember I mentioned about her and her, her, her Right Place TV channel? She just launched her 30th, 30th TV channel. Now, I'm gonna see, y'all are talking about, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking TV shows, we're talking channels. I need you to expand your thinking a little bit. Please expand your thinking a little bit. So what I wanna do is bring to the Media Boss Show, none other, none other than Dr. Letitia Wright. Dr. Wright, welcome to the Media Boss Podcast. I'm so glad to have you here with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's so sweet to have, you know, be on your show, your new podcast. I love it. Uh, Media is so important. It's still important. It is changing. So this, you know, having this educational portal for people is really important. Well, thank you. And see, I I love having, first of all, I, I need to let the audience know, me and Dr. Wright go back. So, so we, we, as I told her, I said, we are down like four flat tires. So some of y'all will get that. Some of y'all are not, not hip to the hip talk. But anyway, I think I have to say this. It's not for room flats nowadays. But yeah. <laughs> and I want to let y'all know, we have shared many a laugh together. So, and we always will. But I, I want to talk to you about, well, I don't know where to begin with you. You do everything. Let's talk about the Right Place TV. Right Place TV. I want to talk about that. Right Place TV is a, it started out as a show uh, 22 years ago, year two, 2000. What? I started the You're Right Place. only 25. Yes, I know. I was just three years old and I started my own <laughs> TV show called Right Place TV, you know, and I started talking about business. And it was really the only place on TV where businesses, now this is before Shark Tank, before SBA TV, this is before a lot of things. And, it's, and so it gave business people an opportunity to get on TV and mm-hmm. share what they were doing and, and expand, create more revenue, create a bigger audience. And I just enjoyed talking to all these experts. I had Mark Victor Hansen. I had, you know, you, you named the experts. Wow. They had been on my show. And it was really, really great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I even did a film. I did a film uh, with Brian Tracy in it. I did a film with, I've done four films, but I've done all these films over the years, but I was always having to find a channel to put Right Place TV on. Mm -hmm. So as I expanded, we did two years with Jewish and Direct TV. That was really, really wonderful. That gave me a chance to really try to push it. Um, They have a certain threshold. They gave me a year and then they gave me an extra year to meet the threshold. Didn't quite make it, but it was a really great experience. Great business relationships with Direct TV. but after that, I was looking for cable TV channels to put the, the, yeah. the show on. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, going from pillar to post. And so the last time I was supposed to go on a channel and I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And they finally said, oh, we just sold out to Christian so-and-so channel. And they don't want you. You're not a Christian show. We're going a different direction. Yeah. And I said in my Gone with the Wind verse, my show will never be homeless again, you know, and I, 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 you know, looked into getting a Roku channel and I, you know, had read all the things you could build a Roku channel and I built yeah. the Right Place TV Roku channel. And uh, of course it, it burnt out and didn't work quite right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I had to go back to the these table. These things happen. Yes, that, these things happen. I had to go back to the table and learned more, learned better, partnered with some great coders. And so I was able to put up the second version of Right Place TV channel that works like clockwork. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys can go on Roku, search the channel store for Right Place TV channel. It comes up, you download it, it's an app. You download it into your smart TV, into your phone, into whatever smart device you have and you can watch everything for free. We have great business TV. Love and uh, and then I wanted to expand because distribution is the thing, right? Just, you got to be able to distribute your content. And so I went ahead and built my Apple TV channel and my Amazon Fire TV channel. So we have distribution on all of those channels. Um, I do have the capability for Samsung, but I'm not seeing... Uh, love you, Samsung, but I'm not seeing the demand for Samsung TV like right. we see everywhere else. So the, the, the jewelry is still out on that. 
And the, the three channels appeal to different people. So there's different reasons for being on each channel. Okay. And so, uh, so we've been growing that. And so I had a couple of other people say, hey, can you build me a channel? And, you know, and I said, oh, sure. You know, I kind of did it as a friend thing. And then it kind of struck me, okay, like this is a business, like I should really, really just do this full-fledged business. And so I started building, you know, channels. And so, um, you know, we've got 30 channels. When you go to rightplacestudios.com, I have a list of all of the channels yeah. that are there and just have amazing people that have amazing content. Because here's the thing media changes people and people change make the world better so i don't have to get out there and touch everybody i've got 30 channels that are touching people and that's how i'm changing the world so so let me ask you you, you mentioned that each one of the types of channels has different appeal what kind of appeal are you, are you talking about well the thing is with roku uh, the reason why you would want to be on Roku is because they are very well connected with commercial. You can get, you know, commercials that are paying you without you having to reach out to them. They will come wow. to you. Roku has the largest distribution, over 125 billion people, and they have their own TVs. There are Roku TVs now. And so Roku has an incredible infrastructure. They've cleaned up their infrastructure. There are no more private channels. And what that means, a lot of people don't know that there used to be private channels, but back in the day, there used to be private Roku channels. Uh, and Roku is on their way to, you know, they are a competitor and they're going to stay competitive. But what was happening with the private channels is that they were being abused. That's where people were putting all the porn. And so mm -hmm. they said, hey, we're discontinuing. Them. So uh, that means that those people could not make that private channel a regular channel they were just going to be gone so they're right. cleaning up their act and they're just really coming on strong uh, amazon fire tv amazon belongs to belongs to amazon which belongs to bezos who also owns mgm they yeah. have oscars and emmys and they have a award like they're real hollywood tv yeah. and so being on that channel puts you in that you know deep hollywood track so that you hmm. can be in the mix with those kinds of, uh, that kind of programming. Right. And then the Apple TV is great because you, the Apple TV tribe, they're wealthy, they're smaller, they're a lot smaller. So you're not gonna be having the millions and millions of viewers, but they're smaller, but they're easy to, if you're, you're trying to monetize, they, it's easy to get the pay because okay. both Apple pay. And, and so it's very easy to monetize and monetize at a higher price so there's different reasons why you would choose the different channels for your content and when i'm working with clients and building them a channel we have a discussion about that i just don't assign it to them i'm trying to see what are you trying to do okay right. this would be the best uh channel for you and i definitely have monetization i do a customized monetization plan for everybody that mm -hmm. has a channel because a lot of people are out there doing channels and they're not making any yeah, money making or they're doing money. well i'm on this channel for free and we're on all these different channels and i don't have to pay yeah and you're also not making any money so we're not making point? any money right <laughs> look what's the expression you get what you pay for <laughs> and, and, and you know, I'm gonna be honest, you know, for you guys that are just starting to make content, I'm probably not a good match. I'm a good match for people who are solid in their business. They make content. Mm -hmm. I am a premium priced uh, product. So, you know, right. it's not $2 to work with me. But the thing is, is that if you've got a business that's rolling, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to train you don't want to take webinars you don't want to learn right. how to do this and you don't want to hire anybody then work with me because i'm behind the scenes you know setting it up having your own tv channel allows you a larger amount of revenue to come in than it does if you're a part of a channel but even if you're part of a channel there are opportunities for you to sell the same opportunities are not on youtube they're not the same equivalency people are like well what's the difference between that and youtube well you're talking apples and oranges right, like right. let's talk tangerine and orange right let's talk something that's similar youtube is not similar you can make money with a tv channel immediately because it's your channel right you don't have right. to wait till you have so many followers and also the game is not the old 1975 game well cbs has 70 million you know viewers i gotta get 70 million viewers no honey you can make a decent living with a thousand true fans remember that remember that thousand true fans yes yes a thousand true fans watching your channel, purchasing your products, getting in your ecosystem, you can make a 
tremendous hand. living. So it's not about the numbers. It's about your tribe. Are you growing a tribe? If you're growing a tribe, then grow your content on your That's channel. Right. Stop sending people somewhere else. I love it. Now, and one of, first of all, that was brilliant. I've been saying this to people for so long and I'm so glad to hear you say it to them as well. Okay, now I want to ask you, because I, I want people to grasp this. It, it's not a show, it's a channel, meaning they can put as many shows as they want on their channel, am I right? That is right. The way I handle my clients, you can put as many shows. It's not hours, there's not, you get two hours a week. It's infinity, it's digital. Digital television has digital options. Let me say that again. Digital television has digital options. Mm. So you can add people, you can add other shows to your channel. We even handle the hosting for you. Wow. And of course, they can monetize having people put other shows on their channel. Man, exactly. it, it, it's, it's incredible. And I really want people to take advantage of that as well. Now, Dr. Wright, we're going to be right back. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back. Guys, I know you're getting as excited as I am just on this one segment, but she does more. So, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of the Media Boss Podcast. going to learn everything you need to know about starting a podcast well at the create your podcast weekend we put it all in two days and help you get your podcast going by next week that's right by next week all you have to do is come to the create your podcast weekend and let us show you how to get your podcast up and running we will show you how to attract listeners we will show you how to get people to pay you for your products and services what products and services? The products and services we show you how to create all at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. All you have to do is go to createyourpodcastweekend.com and get registered today. And we have special bonuses. Some of you will even get us to give you the equipment to start your podcast. That's right. We're going to give some of you the podcasting equipment to get started. Go to createyourpodcastweekend.com. That's createyourpodcastweekend.com and get started on your podcast by next week. Starting a podcast can be a daunting task. There's a lot that goes into it, and you're probably wondering if you're able to handle it. Well, why don't you just take two days and let us teach you how to do it at the Create Your Podcast Weekend. That's right. We're going to show you all the aspects of how to start your podcast, how to keep your podcast going, how to attract listeners, and how to make money with your podcast. CreateYourPodcastWeekend.com. Get registered right now. To the Media Boss Podcast, man. I told y'all you're gonna enjoy this show. And my guest here, she's still here. She ain't going anywhere. And that's Doctor Doctor Letitia Wright. You heard what she is doing in just the television space. Just, just the television space. You heard what she is doing. So, Doctor Wright, I want to find out how somebody can get 154,000 Twitter followers. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, well, that's you know, not Twitter. That's TikTok. I mean TikTok, not Twitter. I mean TikTok. TikTok yeah. But still. How you get 154,000? <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. That is a lot. Um, one of the things about the TikTok, TikTok is so different from every other social media. So the problem that people are having when they come over to TikTok is they're trying to do the same thing they did on Instagram. They're trying to do the same thing they did on Facebook and Snapchat, and it, and it falls flat. Mm-hmm. TikTok is, is because there are more people on TikTok than there are on Facebook and YouTube. And that, that means just like billions of people. It is truly about finding your tribe and talking to your tribe. It is not about talking to everybody else. And um, I definitely have a class. I'm working on it. You know, you know who, you know, Mr. Who, you know, he got me working on it. So, yeah, so <laughs> we're, we're, um, I'm definitely working on that for everybody. But what it is, is that um, it is truly about talking to your tribe 
And people are so used to just trying to talk to everybody and just trying to get everybody in. Hey, you come and listen to this. Hey, you come and listen to this. Whereas TikTok is truly just about talking to people that are your tribe truly deep down and truly connecting. And when you're relaxed and you're just trying to connect to those people that are feeling you, yes. it works so much better. Wow. I mean, how long did it take to build 154,000 TikTok followers? Um, I did the first 40,000 in 90 days. So the first 90 days I was on TikTok, I grew to 40,000 because I was just testing it. The first 90 days right, I was like, let right. see what this is. So, uh, and I do that. I do, do 90 day tests, you know? And so uh, I was like, okay, this is a real thing. And in those first 90 days, I made some money. So I was like, oh yeah, this is a real, real thing. So then I made a plan and I think I grew to 90 in the next th- days. Wow. So now I will say the growth is a little bit slower. You can't grow as fast as you could originally. What mm-hmm. happens with all social media is that the organic growth is very quick in the beginning and theirs is the best. It's better than yeah. anybody else. Yeah. But it has slowed down a little bit. So you do, okay. you know, they have a lot more rules. You have to do a lot, you know, a lot of things to make sure you don't violate the rules. Yeah. But yeah. it is about being consistent. And I don't dance. There, there's not any video in which I'm dancing. Um, you you just, again, you have to find your tribe. And, and the tribe that accepts me. My tribe is okay with me not dan- dancing. My tribe is okay with me telling them, look, pull up your big girl panties and stop smoking hopium. Like, this is what we're talking about, y'all. And you're that's not, how I talk to them, you know? You're not doing your smooth criminal dance? No, I'm not doing smooth criminal. <laughs> not, doing, not doing the hokey pokey. Not doing the, the renegade. But... <laughs> um, so, you know, it's about truly having your style. So I think one of the problems is that a lot of people that have done stuff other places, because they spent so much time copying other people and being inauthentic, when mm-hmm. they come to TikTok, they're inauthentic, they're not them. And so it doesn't take because yeah, yeah. there's 7 billion people. People have seen, if you're copying somebody else, people have seen yeah. that 10 times already. They sure have. Yeah, and so your inability to be inauthentic will kill you on TikTok. Mm, I, I hope y'all are taking notes on that one. So I got to ask you, what is the Kitty Fund Grant Award? And how did you become a semifinalist? <laughs> well, the Kitty Fund is a special grant for women who are starting their businesses and growing their business. Mm-hmm. And um, I was uh, considered on the semifinalist. I didn't make the finals, but they're, mm-hmm. uh, they're evaluating your business, looking at it and considering you giving you money to grow. And so the one thing is about grants and business, people have this mistaken uh, thought that I apply for a grant when I'm down and out and my business is almost closed and I'm about to die. And one of the things I want, <laughs> one of the things I wanted to share with people is that you can apply for a business grant even when you're doing well, because they only going to give grants to people that look like they're going to last. Yeah. If they're not sure you're going to be in business after you get the grant, they don't want to give it to you because right. they don't want to say, oh, we gave this person money, but they went out of business. Like they look like they don't know what they're doing. Exactly. So, you know, part of it is just to, you know, I share a lot of business grants that are out there, but some people are like, oh, I'm waiting to find a grant to start my business. Oh, honey, you got to have a business before you get a business grant. Like people don't think, you know, it's like stop smoking yeah. hopium, clear your head up. Business grant money is bonus money, but it doesn't yeah. hurt to go after them because you get cool awards like this. Let me tell you, I, I, look, you and I, we're, we're known to step on people's toes. I'm, I'm going to say this. One, another one of my mutual friends, um, you, you shared the stage with him before as well, but he said he hates when people come up to him promoting their nonprofit when they can't even run a for-profit. Oh, that is good. I'm so using that. <laughs> I'm so using that. You, well, you can I, that I can, I can tell you. I can tell you who it, who it was. I, uh, I actually think I know who it was. You I know who it was. Yeah, the I beard. think I know. Yeah, I think I know who. I think I know who exactly. was. But he's so right. You know, these people are like, "Well, I have a nonprofit." Well, girlfriend, if you're for profit, 
isn't making any money, how is your nonprofit work? Now, if you want to partner with somebody, one of the things that I do is that uh, I work with homelessness, especially in the area of children. And so I partner with, you know, I was on the board of Stand Up For Kids. I partner with YES in Los Angeles, Youth Emerging Stronger. But I have a, a mentor who has a foundation. And one of the things that I do is I do hygiene kits. Well, this is a sample of my hygiene kits okay. for people who are on the street. Um, Very and good. So it has soap, it has deodorant, it has black socks. We use black socks because, you know, they don't get to change their socks often and doesn't yeah. look good and scuzzy. And then I also provide hand sanitizer. Uh, we have, we just got a donation of toothbrushes and toothpaste. So we have that to put All in right. there, disposable ones. And I put in $10 and we put in $10 so that people could get food, water, medicine. Sometimes they just need Tylenol. Sometimes one person I met, uh, uh, he had he had a prescription. He had a job. He was broke. He was asking people for a dollar. This prescription cost nine ninety nine. My friend only had a ten, and she gave him a ten. He almost cried because mm. he was working poor. Didn't have ten dollars for a prescription for an ear infection. Mm. He ran to the back of the CVS. So I don't worry about, you know, what they're going to do with their money. You know, God didn't tell me to judge them that. Just, you exactly. know, and I can see the homeless. I don't care what city I go in, I can see the homeless. I can't not see them. Right, so right. Um, I just got a donation from um, the foundation um, uh, for the foundation to put the money, the cash in the bags. So we put in $10 it. so they can eat. Almost every person I give those bags to, they immediately go into some place to get something to eat. And see, I've, and I've and seen back, an old back, back to what, like I said, you're going to take what our friend said. He had another line too. When you know, people come to him and say, asking him to contribute to their nonprofit, his first question is, how much have you contributed to it? Mm. So. Yes, because when I first started doing this, I just took the cash out of my pocket. And I, and I wasn't you, you asking. You contributed to it. That's, what, yeah, that's my I, point. I, I, put in five, at least $500 of my own cash. But what it is, is that I wasn't asking people, um, people were just asking right. me what I was doing with these in my right. car. Right. So I was, and so people were like, oh, okay. And then they would just give me money. So people started giving me money. And so I was like, okay, you know, and it's yeah. like, oh, well you need, do you need this? And people started giving me, you know, good stuff, good donations. People have given me uh, full on travel kits. Travel kits that wow. have not been opened, not been used, so they've got shit. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Like a really good travel. So we got a donation of those type of travel kits. So That's I'm going to clip them to open them just to put the money in. But I mean, they've got the thing that they are, nothing's been used in there. So I'm not getting, you know, I just tell people yeah, what I'm yeah, doing and they donate. But I definitely, you know, I pay for my gas to go do this. I do it around town here. That's I was wonderful. just in Los Angeles yesterday picking up a big donation. She, she's not and, just a media mogul, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've got people sleeping on the streets, you know, and, yeah. and no matter where you are, and the homeless children are invisible. You're not going to mm. see homeless children sleeping on the streets because they know that they'll get picked up. And mm. homeless, uh, most of the homeless children, 80% of them were kicked out by their parents. Lord have mercy. They're mm. not running away because they want to be bad or they want to go, you know, to the island of children, you know, like, you know, Peter Pan. They want to I mean, be I'm bad sure there. you're, I'm sure you're uh, speaking about this on, on some of your media, on your media outlets. I am. I am, you know, because I'm passionate about it. And yeah, I, I can tell, I can feel it. Yeah, I, I teach a class it. for for um, stand up for kids for kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to definitely you know contribute in some way because I, I, I like you. oh yeah, I, and I, I encourage anyone else here. We're gonna have to get the links and everything, and we'll put it we'll put it on the screen here for okay. for people Perfect. to contribute because I think that's very noble and needed. Now, my my last uh, question to you, of course, I got to bring up the fact because we're talking about giving money. You have a fantastic podcast. Yes. I have a Get Crowdfunded Now podcast. Get Crowdfunded Now. You're talking about getting money, guys? Yeah. She can tell you how to get money. So go ahead. Please talk about it's that. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Google, Amazon Music. It's everywhere you need to find it. And it's just about crowdfunding for business. So I, I've broken it up, this very short podcast, unless it's an interview of somebody that might be kind of long. Mm -hmm. It lasts between five and 15 minutes. 
And it's just to break it down. This is how business co- podcast, uh, crowdfunding works. And this is how you can get money for your business. I don't want it to be confused with personal crowdfunding because it's very different strategies, but it does actually work. And it's great lessons. If you start at podcast number one, which is done a couple of years ago and mm-hmm. go up to now, you can really have a great free education. Mm, fantastic. So guys, make sure you subscribe to her podcast. What's the name of the podcast again? Get crowdfunded now. All right. Please subscribe to her podcast and make sure you support everything that she is doing because she is one of my best friends and I, I love her dearly. So I really want you all to support her, support her as well as, of course, this podcast, Media Boss Podcast. So um, I want to ask before I let you go, is there anything you have coming up that the people need to know about? Um, you know what? I am really just working on a TV channel for health and wellness. So I'm interested in interviewing people that would like to have their content on there. They're about health, they're about wellness, they're about that kind of thing. And then um, we are looking at starting a cooking channel. So Mm -hmm. those two topics are are in that area. So if you are a person who's ready to have your own channel or be a part of a group channel uh, at a a lower price because you want the reach and you want to create some revenue, then this is a great opportunity. So those are the two areas that I would really love to see uh, much more content. All right, thank you. Dr. Letitia Wright, I, I am so honored to have you here. You know, like I said, you and me, we, this is, that's my girl. So thank you so much for joining us. I definitely appreciate you and I look forward to having you back and look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Yes, yes, I, I'm sure we will. I'm starting to get out a little bit more, so I'm sure we, we will be crossing paths soon. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Okay, guys. So we're going to move on with the show right now. And as we do, I want to make sure that you guys get my free gift to you. That's right. My free gift to you is a training to help you all to get more clients. Remember, we talked to you about how you need to become a media boss. But one thing I want you to do is go to five ways to paying clients, five ways to paying clients. I have a training for you. I have put together a training for you. It's going to help you to get clients and to show you why you're not getting those clients who want to pay you. You want clients to pay you, right? I I hope so. If not, this is the wrong podcast. But (laughs) I want to make sure you guys can get some paying clients. So go through five ways to paying clients right now. That is my free gift to you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have our media boss out segment in just two minutes right after this quick commercial break. Why should you contact Media Boss Club right now? Well, because you can get a podcast done for you. You can learn all the aspects that go into putting together a great podcast and have someone else do it for you. That's right. We will build your podcast around your content and make it so you can concentrate on the money-making activities of your business. Contact MediaBossClub.com. That's MediaBossClub.com today and let us get your podcast started right now. Let's face it, you've been talking about starting a podcast for quite some time, but you haven't started yet. Why is that? Could it be that you just don't have the time because your day-to-day keeps you so busy? Or could it be that you don't want to learn all the technical aspects that go into putting together a quality podcast? Well, at Media Boss Club, we take care of that for you. How would you like to have a done-for-you experience? That's right. At Media Boss Club, we build your podcast for you. We will edit your podcast. We will put in the music for you. We even put in commercial breaks that you can put your advertisers in. We will take care of all of the uploading to the great podcast platforms that are out there. That's right. We do everything. All you have to do is just right now go to MediaBossClub.com. That's MediaBossClub.com and let us handle the heavy lifting for you. Welcome back to the Media 
Fit Boss Podcast, man. I had a great time with my guest, Dr. Letitia Wright, and it is time for the Media Boss Out segment. Right before we leave, I want to tell everyone, please make sure you go to Media Boss Podcast on Patreon. Check us out. Support the podcast. Some great perks for you, some great gifts, so forth and so on. We want to make sure that you all are enjoying the Media Boss Podcast. Make sure you guys got my free gift, Five Ways to Paying Clients. Go to fivewaystopayingclients.com, fivewaystopayingclients.com. And I want to make sure I tell you guys about my Make Money from Media 5-Day Challenge. My Make Money from Media 5-Day Challenge. I have put together a challenge that is going to show you how to monetize your media, how to make your media into something that is profitable. Don't you want to get profits for everything you publish? Well, that's what we're going to do at the Make Money from Media five-day challenge. I want you guys to take part in that. Come on in. We, I, I'm going to tell you right now, if you come in as a VIP, you're going to get some extra perks. You have to get a chance to win some equipment that will help you to put out great content and an iPad. You get a chance to win that as well. We got so many things for you guys who, who are VIPs. Now, another thing I want to help you do, if you are interested in having a podcast of your own, that's right. I'm here to help you guys become media bosses. If you're interested in having a podcast of your own and having someone else do the production for you, where all you have to do is be the talent and talk. I say, I know a lot of you right now, you're not doing a podcast right now because you're like, I don't feel like doing all this. It's too much work. I don't want to do this. How would you feel if it were done for you? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to text the word podcast to 929-244-4323. 929-244-4323. Four, three, two, three. Text the word podcast, and we're going to have a discussion. Somebody on my team or myself, we're going to talk to you about how you can get a podcast done for you. And the last thing I want you to do is make sure you are subscribed right now to the Media Boss Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the Media Boss Podcast because we want to make sure that we come to you all the time. We love having you here. We want you to be with us all the time because it is time for you to become a media boss. So I want to say right now, media boss out. We'll see you next time on the Media Boss Podcast.